Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Model News. This time we have an interview with Diecast Construction Expert on Instagram. Hey everybody, how's it going? So, if you guys remember, uh, yesterday I believe it was, he released a video um, ranting about some of the things wrong with his community. So, I guess this is going to be sort of like the backlash sort of thing, or... You could call it the the V... V... It's going to be the two and a half version, because... I'm kind of adding on to diecast before him, and now we're just kind of trying to add on to all of it as a whole, I guess you could say. Yeah, so um, definitely there was some good points made in that video. Um, so where do we begin? Um, I, I think we need to probably begin with just talking about the overall place that the community is at currently. I think um, it, really when I came in, uh, Facebook was just becoming a thing, and then there was YouTube, and now it's really Instagram that's become a popular thing, and Sal has emphasized this quite a bit, and Sal notices there's a lot of differences in the community these days. Definitely, definitely. And there's a lot more people in it than there used to be, and it seems like it's all Instagram, you know. Right, there is... Definitely, and I mean, I've only been in this for, well, the Instagram portion, I should say, for, um, I don't know, five, maybe six months that I've had my Instagram. I'd have to double check, but I think it's, uh, since then, if I had to just guess, there were maybe like 50 model pages. No, uh, I'm just guessing, just 50, let's say, but now there's... There's like at least like 150 random model pages just scattered everywhere from American users to Asian users to South American users, you name it. And there's really a f very few of them that remain consistent with like the theme of their page. I mean, right. And I, uh, I mean, every now and then I'll I'll start posting some some stuff that isn't model related or construction or anything and which i mean is that, i mean that's you know it's gonna happen fine occasionally i mean it's our instagram pages you can't let anybody else dictate you know right. what you post but, on it for example i think it was diecast construction page back in the day i don't remember the exact name of it but he changed his to like a ford ranger page or something like that like he just totally changed his page all together to a whole nother whole nother, you know, genre. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not letting anybody else dictate what, what I post on my page. I mean, my Instagram's K-Rollins Photography. So, I mean, I got to use this one from Tommy Stroll when we already talked about this. You know, I think the name of it kind of tells you what it's going to be about. It's going to be about pictures of heavy equipment. Oh, yeah, and I mean... And if you do not... You go ahead. And Tommy, I got... I got I'm sorry, but I got to use this line. And if you couldn't figure that out, then you need to unfollow my page and consult some professional help. <laughs> Tommy is the man. Yeah, Tommy he is. is definitely the man. Yeah, Diecast Emporium. He's 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 a really good guy. Yeah, I, I definitely can't wait to hopefully meet up with him and uh, go check out the DHS open house this year. It should be sweet. We got uh, J.J. Gilligan going to that one as well. He's going to do a Dio thing, and he's also going to be the Mullen News reporter, so. Yeah, it's it's seeming like it's going to be a pretty good turnout this year. I can't wait to meet uh, Pat Crocker up there. It's going to be, it's just going to be a blast. We're all just going to be, I don't even know what we're going to be doing, to be honest, but we're going to be doing something, and it's going to be sick. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot planned for this year. I would have really liked to go, but I also got this Rockbuster show coming up uh, that Cat Mac 316, a.k.a. Uh, Diesel, um, he, that he's pretty much the head of, and he's bringing in his old vintage D4 down there. Sweet. That thing is awesome. It was his grandfather's, too, and he found it, I think it's like in a scrapyard or something. I wish I would have something that I could find like that in scrapyard. I think it's a scrapyard. I'm I'm not sure, um, but he he's had that thing for a long time, and he well about a year or so, and he's worked his ass off to get it to where it's at. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of wishing that I was in the position as like 
Let's Dig 18, where I just just buy and sell excavators, just play with them, play on a backhoe, just go out into my land, just rip some trees out of the ground for no reason, just because. Yeah, I think a lot of people would like to be in that position. <laughs> I mean, I would love to get a backhoe. Um, you know, people <laughs> people look at it as small construction, and but yeah, it's still a piece of construction machinery. It helps build things. <laughs> Right, and if it's yours, then you can do whatever the hell you want with it. There's no, there's no limitations. Question. Yeah, there's no limitations. Nobody telling you what to do. Yeah, but that's something I sort of alluded to though. Uh, my last, in- second to last, one, well, my last Instagram post was egos. Everybody has an ego. Mhm. But it's just how in check yours is, though. Exactly, which is what a lot of people seem to have issues with. Yeah. Now, lately, it seems like more so than than ever. Yeah, it really does seem because, you know, there's quite a few people that go, oh, I operate this on a daily basis. I, I Oh, no, I operate something that's a couple tons bigger than you, and then it's like one-up game. It's just all about whose penis is just a little bit bigger than the <laughs> next guy's. Pardon my language, but... That's really what it's just turned into. It's just who who thinks that they can pee further than the next guy. Yeah, who whose shit is longer? Yeah, exactly. And it's just that reminds me of a South Park episode. <laughs> you watch South Park, right? Um, I actually do not watch South Park. Wow, I hardly watch any TV at all. I barely watch TV much anymore myself, but. I mean, last year, about this time, I didn't even know what TV was because I was just so in focus with the part one of the roundabout site. I totally understand that, ma'am. Yeah, with work and yeah, BMX like I do in my side time and just models on the any other part of my time and just TV just doesn't really fit into the equation for most of my days. Now, that reminds me of BMX Life 6 on Instagram. <laughs> Kyle Bell, god damn it. He posts a lot of pic- selfies of him flipping off the camera. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people that for some reason or another seem to like to do that. That think they're and cool I doing that. Understood why. That think they're cool doing that. Well, I'm here to tell all of you, you're not cool. You're not cool. Go flick off yourself, not not the camera. We don't want to see your middle finger. Speaking of that, my middle finger doesn't have any more uh, hair on it from firing uh, fucking uh, bottle rockets last night. Hell yeah. Like, Happy the, 4th of July, everybody. Yeah. Or the day after. Today's the day where most people have no memory of. Definitely. But my left hand has no hair on my knuckles anymore. <laughs> After <laughs> last night, just holding off, uh, holding bottle rockets while firing them off. I know exactly what you mean, man. Actually, I didn't really get to do much of that this year, though. My family, we was launching off the fireworks at the roundabout site. I mean, hey, why not? It's the middle of the road. Yeah, Nobody's getting through. Yeah, definitely. We had competitions to see who could hit the road close sign first. <laughs> One of them missed and hit the bobcat. And that's okay. It didn't shatter a window, so we're good. <laughs> but we all, we were shoving uh, all sorts of shit in the cones and barrels. <laughs> somebody thought it was a good idea to light a firework off. What the hell happened here? Yeah, but some of that was a good idea to uh, launch a firework off inside a barrel. That, that sounds like not... The greatest idea ever. It wasn't <laughs> sort of a blown up barrel outside my house now. <laughs> I can only imagine. But they actually, um, that Friday, everybody was like, um, using up everything. Like at work, um, 3D, um, they were using up everything to keep the mini excavator from sinking into the mulch in one of the islands. Mm hmm. Because a soil stabilizer hit the fucking underdrain pipes and destroyed them. And, um... 
what they did was they threw a barricade, and then they put two barrels on top of that to keep the thing from sinking in. Mm-hmm. So they were E and B pavings barrels anyways. So 3D <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> so they never do. It, it's a paving company. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Somebody else will pay for it, maybe later on down the road. Yeah. Sad thing is, the one of the barrels, it was the only barrel there that had that little um, beacon light thing on it. Oh, uh, huh. Yeah, That's none of them. Cost you. Yeah, it will. Beacon light went bye bye. Yeah, that shit ain't cheap. Yeah, it really isn't, but I think the biggest problem was the generator. They had one of those old Inger Solren. Uh, generators yeah the thing was though instead of a fuse it had a wire in it Mm -hmm. so they couldn't get it to crank and they need it to actually use the jackhammer because the bobcat e80 they had here it didn't have enough hydraulic power to actually um pull out the dirt which bobcats never do which sounds weird but it's stabilized dirt so it's like hard as cement Mm mm-hmm that's true. Because of the lime mixture in it. Which, yeah. it, it really goes full circle now because of the <laughs> stabilizer. Yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, back to the subject, yeah, people that flip off camera, you're not kind of, you're not cool. Yeah, we did get a little off subject there. <laughs> but but that's, what these things, that's how these things usually go, though. That is very true. I it's mean, kind it, of more of like a... A, a lost ramble. Yeah, but it's entertaining, though. It is. And there's ve- there's no actual shows out there that's actually construction themed, which which is why you know it's different. And I mean, you got to think there's like, like you said, there's like nobody out there doing any kind of actual news or. Any type of interviews or yeah, anything like that. So definitely leading leading the cutting edge of that for sure. Yeah, and I gotta thank Reed Estes for the idea of doing shows in the first place. Even though his weren't the success, he didn't really think about pre-recording them like we are. Because he used to yeah. do just live streams, and it, that w- that made it a pain for some people because they had to tune in at a certain time, or, or else they'd miss yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You can go exactly. back and watch these things. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit hard to get used to, for sure. Yeah, and I mean, I always wanted to watch it, but it was like, oh man, I wasn't there. Yeah, and I, I felt that way a lot too, um, with other obligations at the time. But um. Yeah. So, the reason that that video was made was because of a DM uh, argument between you and Duff Excavation, a.k.a. Cole Duff. That was definitely, I, not not the reason, it was more or less the final straw which pulled the trigger on me making the video. Like the driving force, really. Yeah, I mean, it, it basically had been on my mind, and... I was just kind of waiting for one, one more thing to, to just happen, and it just so happened it it happened. <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to anyways. Just it was a matter of time. Oh, it was yeah, exactly. It was just a matter of time. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a bunch of angry DMs from people like, "Why the fuck have you called me out on this one?" <laughs> and and I've. I've gotten some DMs too asking if I if I made the video for any specific person or yeah anything like that and and I mean if you're that person yeah, you know yes there are a few that I could say there are I did call out two names in the video specifically um, however that does not mean that that it was only them or that it's everyone out there. It's, it's a, it's a select group of people. And if they watch the video, they know who they are. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you know you did something wrong, you should know that, you know, that you're, (laughs) that you're a fault. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So as far as I can tell everybody out there, except for that one, um, 
logging truck 88 or I, whoever. That, he has another um, Instagram. It's iMoby something. Oh, God. But it's just everybody out there knows right and wrong, and they, they everybody knows that they're being annoying. I'm trying – I try – It's just a matter of them thinking that the person that they're annoying is going to put up with it or not. Personally, I try to keep my page as professional as possible. And I know recently I've been busy, so I actually have my brother posting for me sometimes, my little brother. Who, in fact, I'm also teaching about heavy equipment. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, that's the thing. I'm trying to, like, get another generation going, too. You know, right. a younger there's, generation. There's not near as many people interested in it as there once was, for sure. You know, yeah, there is 11 and 12-year-olds, but, you know, I like to cut them some slack because they don't know you know, things that we do. Right. And there's just, there's always going to be a certain etiquette or a certain right way and a wrong way to everything. And yeah, it does take time and it does, you know, not everybody is just born with these things in their, in their head, but there is definitely, you are born with knowing essentially what right and wrong is. And a lot of people just seem to love to cross that line. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of people like to, that like to cross the line for certain points. There's definitely people that, um, as her mentioned, have crossed that line. And it really does become a fine line, too. Right. And I'm, in the end of the day, it's just... It's, it's not just affecting one person or whoever somebody may be talking about or it, it, and in the end of the day it affects everybody it makes everybody's experience not near as good and it it puts everybody off it doesn't just you saying something to one person doesn't always just affect that one person other people can read that and you know notice that type of stuff and if people start seeing that kind of stuff happen in a community, it really is a big turnoff because, you know, that, that's like you wanting to go to a community pool and all you see is people getting pushed in the pool or you every time the they're pool. walking around. It's like, you're not going to go to that pool. Or, or you see a bunch of people pissing in the pool. Exactly. You're not going to go to the pool that everybody pisses in. Exactly. And you're going to hang out with the people that piss in the pool, or it's just it's just bad. And every there's I I, I want to say everybody all the time, but I, there's a lot of people that love to just piss in the theoretical model community pool, and there's just you know. There's so many other hobbies, I guess you could say, that are so much bigger than our construction Definitely. community, I, I mean, guess you could say. Look at the and Minecraft community. I mean, they got thousands. Exactly. Just a ridiculous amount of followers. And at this point, we are a small, but we're probably one of the most humble communities out there that still exists. Like, you can't. You can't go to a bicycle community like Meetup or something like that, and you can't find near as many humble people in there as you could. It's all competition. It's a competition to see you as the best bike. Right, exactly. Whereas, you know, up until now, it seems like the, you know, the model community, it's been just, you know, about, you know, you collect that, and I like collecting that stuff too, and we should be friends, and we... You know, that's the way it's typically been up until this point is, you know, we're one simply because we have this same interest, not, not, it, I don't know, it's, it's, we have all gotten to this point because of one thing alone, and if we're going to, you know, let stupid things that, you know, shouldn't happen, like these stupid fights and everything, it's, it's just showing that no community if, if if our community can't keep it cool and we can't all get a 
long, then there's no community that probably could except for the tree hugging community or goddamn I don't know, hippies. The dolphin loving community. They might get along better, maybe. I don't know. But a bunch of a bunch of hippies having be sex with dolphins. Exactly. <laughs> it's like we're better than this. There's no reason that we should all be worried about the future of the community. I mean, really these days is really a fight to stay relevant. It's a fight to see, you know, what's the next big thing and try to stay ahead of the trends. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it's all about evolution in the end. I've had to, I've had to change myself to stay relevant, but yet I've kept my core principles that, hey, I like construction equipment and I'm not going to give in to, you know, people wanting this and that and the other and getting pressured right. on by to, to change myself by other people, it's up to myself to, to change myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, exactly. I, I used to be just solely YouTube and then I went to Facebook and now I'm on Instagram, you know, and it's just that fight to stay ahead of it. Exactly. And I mean, at some point, it just gets really, I guess, I don't want to say aggravating because I really don't try to let any of it aggravate me but it's it it's it's it really degra- not degrades you but it it affects the way you feel about everything because you know some some people will put in you know a week or more on some dio or a custom model or something like that and then you know 10 people come and just poop all over it in the comments and it's just like yeah, there's some people that definitely take a take a model and they just make it look like complete shit. And they're going to continue to do that and it does it is disrespectful to the model and it's just it's just flat out ugly. There's some things that you can't help but be like that looks like crap. However, at the same time that there's no need for you know, 10 or 15 people to just jump on, you know, a newer person or anybody like that and just, you know, completely.